the football team pulls off a major upset. And the women's soccer continues their dominating season. All this and more coming up on All Access with the Props. Welcome to the All Hallows Eve edition of All Access with the Profs. I'm Chris Sharnagle. And I'm Maria Brasco. Let's get things started. For its fourth straight title, the Rowan University men's cross country team won the Collegiate Track Conference Championships. The meet took place on October 19th and was hosted by Gloucester County College. Capturing second in the 8K course was Rob Rawls with a time of 26.25, followed by John Sunig, 26.40, Tim Dole, 26.57, and Ethan Walmart, 27.02 taking 5th, 8th, and ninth place respectively for the profs. Tim Davies, the 5th and final prof to score, finished in 13th place. In Sewell, New Jersey, Rowan's women's cross-country team took 1st place at the Collegiate Track Conference Championships on Saturday at Gloucester County College. This is their 6th straight year in which they, they came in 1st place in their particular co contest. Senior Megan Boers ran a winning time of 22-17 in the 6K race. Boris had just received NJAC Runners of the Week honors, and on October 8th, on October 8th, sophomore Christian Bettis took second place with a close finishing of time of 22:33. This is Rowan's second first place finish of the season, and in four of their five matches, they have finished within the top five teams. Their next contest is on November 2nd at 10:30 a.m. The Rowan University field hockey defeated Stevens Institute of Technology by a 4-1 score on October 16th. The victory gave the Profs three in a row, marking their longest winning streak of the season. Two goals in the first half for the Profs came courtesy of midfielder Marissa Marini, who scored in the 16th and 33rd minutes. Defensive back Megan Schraub would put the Ducks on the board at the 50th minute, but Rowan responded with goals from forwards Amy McKeever and Kelly Campbell within the next seven-plus minutes. With the win, the Profs improved to 7-5 and, and would take momentum on the road versus conference opponent the College of New Jersey on October 19th. Reaching a season-high four-game winning streak would prove the difficulty for the Rowan University field hockey team as it fell 4-3 in the NJAC opponent to the College of New Jersey on October 19th. The loss dropped the Profs' conference record to 1-2 with three conference matches remaining. After finishing the first half with a 3-2 lead, the Profs surrendered two unanswered goals. For the Profs forward Kelly Campbell and Jenna Pressler and Johanna James scored three straight goals after, trailing a 1-0 to reach a 3-1 lead. However, three straight goals by Lexi Smith and Carrie Curran and Lindsay Hatch, who, record, who recorded the game winner in the 64th minute, made the difference for the Lions. The Profs dropped to 7-6 overall, while the Lions improved to 12-2 overall. Next stop on October 21st, the Profs stay on the road to face FDU Forum. Getting back to winning ways, Rowan University field hockey blanked FDU Florham 4-0 on October 21st. The Profs spread the scoring through the game and until the final whistle, with the first goal at the third plus minute and the fourth at the 60th minute. Forwards Kelly Campbell, Amy McKeever, and Joanna James recorded goals in the third, 17th, and 33rd minutes respectively. Entering the second half with a 3-0 advantage, midfielder Sam Brown tacked on the final goal for good measure. Profs goalie Steph Colombo stopped four shots in the victory. The Profs reached 8-6 overall as well reaching the 500 mark in away games at 3-3. Three three. Heading into the final stretch of the season, field hockey will return home to face conference opponent Keene University on October 26th. The game marks the first of the remaining three games in the regular season, all of which are crucial conference matchups. The Profs football team upset nationally ranked Wesley College 24-17 in the homecoming game on Saturday afternoon. The Wolverines have an overall mark of 5-2 this season and are ranked number 11. The Wolverines took an early lead with a field goal at 10:33 left in the first quarter. The Profs came right back and tied the game with 6-47 with minutes left in the first quarter. 
After halftime, quarterback Billy McCarty from Williamstown threw a two-yard touchdown pass to Ed as Eisenhart from Clearview Regional to put the profs ahead with a score of 10 and 3. The first play of the fourth quarter was a 62-yard pick by, by Dominic Caruso from Cherry Hill West, which pulled the profs ahead 17 to 3. The Wolverines fought back with two touchdowns in the fourth quarter, trying, try, tying the game. McCarty followed up with a 71-yard touchdown pass to Frankie Gorris with a three, three minute and three second left in the game. Wesley took a final drive to Rowan at the eight yard line, but Frank Rapoli from Monroe Township intercepted the pass by Joe Callahan from Holy Spirit, securing the profs victory. Rowan quarterback Paul Hammers Hammersa from 10, 10 fly was seven out of 18 for 30, 53 yards before leaving the game with an injury by the fourth, by the third quarter, I'm sorry. Bill McCarty finished the game, completing a four out of five passes for 81 yards and two touchdowns. Running back Whittler Marcelin from Ocean Township ran 24 times for a career high of 163 yards. The Profs have a 7-0 all-time record with the Wolverines. The Profs travel to William Patterson for a conference matchup on Saturday. Coming up, Liz Brister sits down with some of our football stars to talk about that huge win against Wesley. You won't want to miss that, so stay tuned here on All Access.